My name's Diane Tetley. I'm Associate Director of Research, Innovation and Effectiveness at Lincolnshire Partnership NHS Foundation Trust and co-developer of Outcomes Orientated Approaches to the Delivery of Mental Health Services, abbreviated as UAMS, along with my colleague, Professor Sammy Tamimi, consultant psychiatrist. I'm here to tell you a little about how using My Outcomes UK alongside an outcomes orientated approach to the delivery of mental health services can improve patient outcomes and reduce costs. So what is My Outcomes UK and how does it work in practice? My Outcomes UK is a secure, web-based, automatic feedback and data management system that supports the practical application of an outcomes-orientated approach to the delivery of mental health services. This transformational approach to service delivery incorporates a whole service model built upon a sound evidence base which puts patient voice and choice in the centre of the treatment process and promotes a recovery focused culture. My Outcomes UK takes account of the key findings from research to support clinical practice and positive patient outcomes. Whilst research has found that around 80% of the time therapy is effective for mental health problems, it has also found that the model or technique we use in treating our patients has a minimal impact on their outcomes. The factors that have been shown to have the biggest impact on outcomes are extra therapeutic factors such as social circumstances and motivation and the quality of the therapeutic alliance. Ten randomised controlled trials have demonstrated that regular monitoring of progress and alliance improves outcomes. What is an outcomes orientated approach to mental health services? The key findings from research have been embedded into four core guiding principles that underpin the UAM's model of practice. Firstly, consultation. This refers to the importance of a systemic perspective that takes into account the real life context of patients and their family. This is about engaging with the broader contents by, for example, considering extra therapeutic factors. For example, some social circumstances may mean that it's not the best time for commencing therapy. Also consider other agencies involved in order to decide who is the most appropriate person to have a therapeutic relationship. Secondly, outcomes refers to the importance of on obtaining ongoing session by session patient related outcome data using the ultra brief outcome rating scale known as the ORS to monitor progress session by session as perceived by them and all their carers. Possibly changing treatment where there's no improvement. Thirdly, relationships. This refers to the importance of developing effective therapeutic alliances, which is assisted by obtaining regular feedback from patients and or their carers using the patient related experience ultra brief tool, the session rating scale known as the SRS. With this, measuring alliance regularly addresses alliance issues. Finally, Ethics of care refers to the importance of developing team cultures that are recovery focused and, un and to understand how to use outcomes data for clinical reflection, supervision and whole team development. Clinicians need to be valued as well as patients. How does My Outcomes UK support this outcomes orientated model of practice? My Outcomes UK interprets ORS and SRS scores automatically and charts progress graphically so that practitioners can provide verbal and visual real-time session-by-session feedback to individual patients and their carers where appropriate about their progress with recovery. Its inbuilt flags alert clinicians and their supervisors to cases where there is little or no improvement, informing clinical supervision. My Outcomes UK aggregates data into reports, enabling clinicians, supervisors, managers to monitor therapeutic outcomes by caseload, team or service and will be useful for commissioners who are interested in recovery metrics in addition to service activity metrics. 
My Outcomes UK can also aggregate outcomes data by severity of distress or complexity of presentation, for example, by mapping outcomes to payment by results clustering tools for both adults and children. An additional application, an app, is available to allow data entry by patients via mobile devices in real time or manual entry of data into the system at a later time. This avoids using clinical administrative time, inputting data and collating outcomes. Why use an outcomes orientated approach? I'd like to tell you a few hard facts. UK reports indicate that only 15% of patients with a mental health problems recover. Around 24% of young people entering our community child and adolescent mental health services get worse. The Department of Health in their recent white paper, Closing the Gap, published in 2014, suggests that there's a need to report recovery metrics in addition to activity metrics. For this, we need to know how many patients improve following their treatment and care. However, in order to do this, we need a feasible online feedback data management system for reporting recovery that has clinical utility. Clinicians need to find it both useful and like using it. We need a feedback system that incorporates a brief patient reported outcome measure like the ORS that addresses the factors that are most likely to influence the therapeutic outcome. We need a system that permits charting of therapeutic progress for patient and clinician. We know from the research evidence I talked about earlier that regular monitoring improves outcomes. We also need a system that aggregates outcomes data for individual clinician, team, service or organisation so we can gain feedback on how we're progressing. My Outcomes UK is a clinically feasible UK feedback data management system that does all of the above and is able to support clinicians, supervisors, managers and patients in adopting an outcomes orientated approach in clinical practice and provides recovery data. Paper-based records don't permit progress with recovery of therapeutic progress to be fed back easily or enable data to be aggregated for individual clinicians, teams, services or managers. My Outcomes cuts administrative costs associated with paper-based systems. UAM's approach accompanied by My Outcomes UK will support organisations that need to deliver a sustainable cost improvement programme and at the same time improve patient outcomes. So what organisational impact will My Outcomes UK have for mental health service providers in terms of benefits and cost savings? My Outcomes UK will accelerate and support the wider uptake of an outcomes orientated approach to the delivery of mental health services, ensuring improvements to the quality of care the NHS delivers whilst making efficiency savings by decreasing costs and increasing capacity. It will identify when a patient has reached likely maximum expected benefits from services received, thereby avoiding stuck cases and over-utilisation of services. Its early morning system alerts clinicians to an individual at risk of poor clinical outcome, helping to avoid early dropout from treatment and do not attend. Most importantly, it will promote development of positive therapeutic relationships and promote dialogue between patient and practitioner, ensuring the service responds to patient preferences. Documented evidence has demonstrated that My Outcomes UK will support increased recovery rates, identification of those with no signs of improvement, reduction in long-term use of services, reduction in waiting list times, reduction in do not attends, avoidance of early dropout from treatment, improved therapeutic efficiency and return on investment. What support is available for those who want to implement an outcomes orientated approach to service delivery using My Outcomes UK? My Outcomes UK provides a step-by-step -step user guide and online tutorial to support use of the My Outcomes application. 
My Outcomes UK also comes bundled with five modules of foundation level e-learning to support training in the use of an outcomes orientated approach in clinical practice. This training has been approved by the British Psychological Society. A service transformation toolkit has also been published by co-developers. This supports a whole systems approach to implementation of outcomes orientated services and is available for purchase. An additional training is also available for those who'd like to become an approved trainer in outcomes orientated approaches to mental health service delivery. The course is designed for developing a whole service approach to improving outcomes, patient involvement and satisfaction at the same time as decreasing costs and increasing capacity. This course is delivered via e-learning modules and two days face-to-face -face training. Completion of this course will allow the benefits of UAMS to reach patients, staff and services as a whole through implementation of a UAMS project at the participants' workplace. A certificate of completion accredited by the British Psychological Society will lead to recognition as an approved trainer. If you would like further information, visit myoutcomesuk.com. Thank you.